Let's listen in. Announce the results of the strike vote. And um, I think you all know that people in San Jose are struggling. They're struggling to have housing. They're struggling to feed their families. They're struggling to um, have safety in our community. And our members are the people who provide those services and who do that every day. And nobody knows more the hardship of trying to do all of those things in a city like San Jose, one of the richest cities in this entire country, than um, the people who work here and who have dedicated their lives to, the, to fulfilling those services. I want to say that um, we are very proud to have our executive director of our Labor Council, Jean Cohen, and Council Member Peter Ortiz here today, and they're going to be our first speaker. Good morning. My name is Jean Cohen. I'm the Executive Officer of the South Bay Labor Council. The Labor Council represents 100,000 men and women, and we use our full power, force, and relationships to demonstrate our support for city workers in San Jose. We are calling for the city of San Jose to stop undermining the quality of important community services, resources that the city workers every day generate. As leaders, we expect a commitment to pursue every avenue to address the challenges facing San Jose workers and their families. Instead, the mayor seems more interested in fear-mongering and electioneering rather than to put in an ounce of effort to avert an economically crippling strike in the city of San Jose. From a mayor and an administration constantly preaching back-to-basics approach, we believe going on strike and not investing in the employees in the city of San Jose is not the best path forward to make sure that our city can thrive and that our residents and taxpayers have what they need to be successful and for our economy to be healthy. You cannot generate revenue without a functioning planning department. You cannot keep libraries and parks open without employees. And you cannot keep people safe without sufficient emergency personnel. We call on the mayor and the council to not ignore the needs of their workers. We call on the mayor and council to not ignore the needs of the residents of San Jose. Our city is bleeding workers to neighboring cities who are willing to pay better wages and offer better working conditions. And we know we can do better here. We hope the city's top leaders will wake up and take the time and energy necessary to urgently work towards a solution. A strike is a very serious decision and it's not one that anybody takes lightly. It affects the lives and families of the workers of San Jose. And we would like to avoid a strike and we need city leadership to help us to do that. You have the commitment of the labor movement to find a solution. And we know we have the commitment of our allies who are with us today to make sure the voices of employees at the city of San Jose are lifted up right now when it's most urgent that we show them our support and demonstrate the fact that San Jose can be an employer of choice if we make the right investments. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Um, I, just to touch on what Jean was saying, I think that we believe in a San Jose for all. We believe in a San Jose that has middle class residents, that has working class residents. We don't believe in a San Jose that's only a playground for some and not for all. And um, that is part of what we're fighting for here. We're fighting for equity. Um, and we are lucky to be represented by some great assembly members, um, one of whom is here, to, two of whom are here today, assembly member Ash Kara, who is a former um, San Jose council member and who knows what it's like to govern and govern with principles. Um, assembly member Kara is the chair of the labor committee in the assembly. He's also a truth teller for our entire city and has stood up for our families and our communities and we'd like to hear some words from him. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. You know, uh, it's frustrating uh, having worked in that building in City Hall for many years to come back here and see a lot of the same type of rhetoric that we've heard in the past. 
uh, because the reality is that it does no one any service, certainly not our residents, when we pit our workers against our residents. And so as the mayor talks about back to basis, what he's really doing is taking us back in time to prior mayoral administrations who did this very thing and it led us to a very dark place where we had the worst relationship between our workers and management than any other city in the entire state of California. And we saw employees leave our city and that ultimately was a disservice to our residents. And so when we hear rhetoric talking about rewarding our employees versus punishing our residents, that is the kind of talk that intentionally intentionally riles up the residents as if somehow our city employees are the enemy. And we cannot allow that to happen again. I'm tired of the same old thing happening again and again. And so what we have to recognize is that when we look at our city workers, they're the ones that keep our city running. We are in a service industry. It's our workers yes, that sir. serve our community. All our right, so uh, we are listening now to uh, the speakers talk about how they don't want to use this uh, authorization vote to actually take a strike, but they, they have authorized. They can strike if they need to. Yeah. Um, so we're going to see what happens to the negotiations, and if they do, it could be as early as next Monday, this week. So we'll next keep week. you updated. Sorry.